In this video, I'm going to be going over how to build a website with A2 Hosting step by step from start to finish. I'll be showing you how to access professional pre-made WordPress website templates to make creating your site an easy process. I'll also be going over how to edit your website using one of the most popular drag and drop editors, Elementor Page Builder, so you can create a professional looking WordPress website on A2 Hosting via drag and drop. I'll also be providing you with an A2 hosting discount that would get you up to 75% off web hosting. Let's get started with the A2 hosting website tutorial. The first thing you want to do to build a website with A2 hosting is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to A2 hosting and so you can take advantage of the A2 hosting discount getting you up to 75% off. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link meaning I receive a commission from A2 hosting at no extra cost to you. Plus, you'll get an awesome A2 hosting discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the A2 hosting page shown here. Click the Get Started button. You'll see the different types of A2 hosting services showing. I'm going to choose the Shared Hosting. I'll click the View Plans button. You'll see four different plans you can choose from. The Startup, Drive, Turbo Boost, and Turbo Max plan. You'll see you can get A2 hosting with a 12 month term, 36 month term, or a monthly term. You get the cheapest pricing with the 12 month term. You'll get hosting for $2.99 a month with the startup plan. This plan is good if you're only gonna have one website as this plan comes with one website. You receive 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, unlimited email accounts, unlimited transfers, and website staging. The drive plan comes with unlimited websites, unlimited SSD storage, and free automated backups. You receive unlimited email accounts, unlimited transfers, website staging, along with growth features that consist of two times the resources, free server rewind data backup protection, performance plus traffic spike protection option, and unlimited databases. The Turbo Boost plan comes with unlimited websites, unlimited NVMe SSD storage, free automated backups, and this plan is up to 20 times faster. The Turbo Boost plan also comes with all the features the Drive plan comes with, plus turbo features that provide your web pages up to 20 times faster load times, which can improve conversions, provide you with higher search rankings, lower bounce rates on your pages, handle up to nine times more traffic, up to 40% faster AMD EPYC CPU performance, up to two times faster to first byte, NVMe drive with up to three times faster read and write speed, light speed speed enhanced web server, turbo cache and APC OP cache. The Turbo Max plan comes with unlimited websites and everything the Turbo Boost plan comes with, plus five times more resources. Once you decide on a plan to choose, click the button that says Get in the name of the plan. For this tutorial, I'll choose the Startup plan. I'll click Get Startup. You'll now be on the Get Started Setting Up Your Hosting Plan page. You'll see you can use a domain you already own with another provider, register a new domain, Transfer your domain to A2 Hosting or use a temporary domain from A2 Hosting. If registering a new domain name with A2 Hosting, just type in the domain that you want. Select from the domain extensions which one you'd like to use. Click the Check Availability button. If it's available, you'll see the congratulations, the domain name is available. Scroll down and click the Continue button you now be on the configure page. You can choose between available currencies. Over to the right under promotion, you'll see the promotion discounted price that is deducted from the total. If you click billing cycle from the drop down, you can choose your billing cycle if you need to change it. You can choose between a monthly term, 12 month term, 24 month term, and 36 month term. You get the cheapest pricing with a 12 month term. Scroll down to the upgrade your hosting section. You'll see where you can add a premium SSL certificate 
to your purchase if you'd like. Now, depending on the plan you choose, you might see something a little bit different where it says upgrade hosting plan. I chose the startup plan, so it'll try to upgrade you to a hosting plan above the one you chose. The next section is to customize your hosting. This is where you can choose your server location. You can choose between Arizona, Michigan, Amsterdam, or Singapore. My recommendation is to choose the data center closest to where you'll be doing business or where your site visitors will be visiting from. Next, you'll see dedicated IP. A dedicated IP is recommended for SSL certificates if you're going to have a premium SSL certificate that you have purchased. The free cPanel SSL certificate that comes with A2 hosting, you don't need the dedicated IP. Aside from a premium SSL certificate, a dedicated IP will give you your own IP address instead of sharing an IP address with others. You might find this option worth having. Completely optional. Next, you'll see the A2 website builder. If you click from the drop down where it says none, you can select an option if you'd like. The price you see to the side is going to be the price per month for the website builder on top of the web hosting price you are paying. For this tutorial, I'm going to select none as we will be building our website with A2 hosting using WordPress. Next, you'll see additional options. Where it says auto install application, if you click the drop down, you can select to have a website building application auto install for you. I don't recommend this option as it'll set your username to admin, which can easily make your site vulnerable to hackers and getting malware. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on A2 hosting quick and easy. Scroll back up to the top and click continue on the right side. You'll now be on the domains configuration page. You'll see DNS management. This is external DNS hosting that can speed up your website and improve availability with increased redundancy. This comes free for the first year if you'd like to add it. Next, you'll see ID protection. You'll only need this if you are registering a new domain name with A2 hosting or will have your domain name registered with A2 hosting. I highly recommend ID protection if your domain name is going to be registered with A2 hosting as this protects your personal information from the public. It can protect you from getting lots of spam and telemarketers reaching out to you via email and phone to sell you their services. When a domain name is registered, it is required, regardless of the company you go with, that your personal information be included in the public Whois database. By choosing ID protection, instead of your information showing, it'll show A2 Hosting's information protecting you. Next is email forwarding. Email forwarding will forward your email to alternate email addresses so you can manage everything in one account. Email forwarding comes free for the first year. Click the continue button to proceed. You'll now be on the review and checkout page. You'll see over to the right the total for your A2 hosting purchase. You'll see the one time discount applied. Click the checkout button to proceed. You'll now be on the checkout page. You want to enter your billing information in. Next, enter your billing address. If you chose to register a domain name with A2 hosting, you'll see domain registrant information. This is the contact information to be used for your domain name. You can change this if you like. Next, enter a password and security question for your A2 hosting account. You'll see the total due today. The recurring amount is the amount after the term you chose. You can now choose your preferred method of payment a2 Hosting accepts lots of different ways to make your purchase. Enter the card information if you chose to pay via card. You can keep the join our mailing list to yes or no if you want to turn this off. Select that you have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and click the complete order button. A2 Hosting will now complete your payment. Once it is done, you'll now be on the order success page. 
A2 Hosting will send you a receipt via email as well as your login details and links to access your A2 Hosting dashboard and cPanel. Click the Client Area button. You'll now be in the A2 Hosting dashboard. If you click Account Details, you'll find your A2 Hosting name servers in case you need to point your domain from another provider to A2 Hosting. You'll also see other account information here and your email info to set up an email account. I'm back on the A2 Hosting dashboard page. Now let's install and set up WordPress so you can start creating and building your WordPress site with A2 Hosting. You'll see the cPanel login button. Click this. You'll also see login to cPanel here. You can click this as well. You'll now be in the cPanel. You'll see WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Click this to go to the WordPress install page. From the cPanel page, you can also scroll down to the software section. Click WordPress Manager by Softaculous. You'll now be on the install WordPress page. Click the install button. You'll now be on the WordPress setup page. Where you see they choose a protocol, it'll be set to HTTPS with a www. I'm going to change this to HTTPS without the www. Feel free to select either one. I like going with HTTPS without the www. Next, choose a domain that you want to have for the WordPress installation. You'll see the version of WordPress you want to install. I'm going to keep it on the current version. Next, put in the site name, site description. You'll see you can select Enable Multi-Site, WPMU, and Disable WordPress Cron. I'm going to keep these unselected. Over to the right, put in the admin username, which will be the username for logging into WordPress. Put in a password and put in an email address. Scroll down and you can change the language for WordPress if you'd like. If you want anything over on the right, you can select it. I'm not going to select anything. Next, if you click Advanced Options, there are selections you can select if you'd like. I'm going to keep these as they are. You can put in an email address for the WordPress installation details to be sent to. Click the Install button. WordPress is now being installed. It'll just take a few minutes. Once it is done installing, you will see congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Click the administrative URL to go to the WordPress dashboard. This is the WordPress dashboard. Something to note, I would bookmark the administrative URL is this is the easiest way to log into WordPress to begin in creating your site. To log into WordPress, just enter your domain name with a slash wp-admin, just like you see here. This will take you to the WordPress login page for your site. Once logged in, you'll be in the WordPress dashboard. Now we want to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left, you will see tabs. Find the appearance tab and hover over it. Click themes as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click add new theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with the drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the install button. Once it is done installing, click the activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the plugins tab in the side menu. Click add new. In the search field, type in starter templates. You want to click install on it, then click activate. Hover over the Appearance tab in the side menu. Click on Starter Templates. You now want to click the Build Your Website button. Choose Elementor for the Page Builder. 
it'll now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes that you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You'll now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options, you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. To make edits to your site, click the edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change create your website to my demo website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section, click edit selection, click style, Hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the X button. I'll click the nine dots at the top to get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. Over on the left, you see where you can link out the text to a page, change the size of the text, change the alignment of the text. If you click style, you can change things like the text color and under typography, the font you want to use and more. If you scroll down to the drag widget here section, click the plus icon. You can select the structure of the section of the page you want. I'll select this one. You can then drag in whatever you'd like in the sections. If you click the folder icon, then click blocks in the menu, you can scroll through lots of pre-made blocks that you can add to a page of your site and then start replacing with your content. This makes designing your site quick and easy because you can find almost any kind of design you want for a part of the page and start building it easily. I'll click this one. Click the insert button to insert it to the page. When you click the insert button on the block you like it first, you'll need to create a free Elementor account. Once it is created, you'll be able to add the blocks in quick and easy. I'll click the insert button. What I selected is now inserted on the page where I can begin editing. I'll scroll back down to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. For these, 
You can just click one you like. I'll click this one and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select a form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click the create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see the update button. Click this when you want to update the changes you've made. If you click the arrow, you can save it as a draft or save this page as a template to then use for another template of another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the preview changes button and it'll showcase your site. If you click responsive mode, you can view what your site looks like on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. If you click the menu icon in the top left and click site settings, you can change the colors of your site, fonts, and more. I'll click the X button. Click the menu icon. If you choose view page, it'll show you the view of the page and this is the easiest way to get back to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click dashboard. If you hover over the pages tab, click add new to add a new page to your site. If you click all pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the media tab and click on library, it'll show you all the images you have uploaded in WordPress. If you click add new at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over post and click add new, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu, click on menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site, along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customizations. If you hover over the appearance tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. 
You can then click an area in the footer area where you see the pencil icon to start making edits to that section over on the left side. You can also click what you'd like to edit in the left side area. Both will take you to the same place to make edits like seen here. If you click the plus icon, you can then add whatever you'd like to the footer area in that section. If you hover over an area of the footer and click the design button, you can then design things like link colors, font colors, fonts, and more. You can click the X button to remove that area from the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo in a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title and logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. I'm going to click the back button twice. You'll now see a bunch of different options you can select from for different parts of the site, such as header builder, blog, pages, sidebar, performance to help speed up your site, and more. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to build a website with A2 hosting and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my A2 hosting tutorial, going over how to build a website with A2 hosting step by step. If you have any questions, get in touch in the comments as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more A2 hosting tutorial videos.